Well, here we are again on another day with Faith Over Fear, Pastor John here from Pinesburg. You know, if you think about it, every day of our lives revolves around a single word, faith. I mean, you open a can of soda, and if you're like me, you just drink it. You don't examine to make sure that it's really soda in the can, or that there's nothing in the can with the soda. You just, you just drink it drive a car down the road, you just depend on the other guy coming towards you that he's going to stay in your lane. Now, we have, we see accidents all the time happen. It's not a person's, a person's fault that, that even uh, has a fatal accident. But you pretty much you pretty much just believe that the guy's going to stay in his own lane and you're going to get home safe. When you're flying in a plane, you dead sure want to make sure the pilot's good. You know, you don't want the pilot to get sick for sure. When you take medication, you just go to the pharmacy and you pick it up and you believe that what's on the label is what's in the bottle. You know, that's the way it is. We have faith in our policemen. We have faith in the firefighters and EMTs and all kind of things. Faith in our military. You go to bed at night, at least, you know, I don't, and I'm sure you don't either. You don't go to bed at night and worry about a bomb dropping on your house. And that's because of our military experts and different things that protect us. We just... We just have faith. Of course, most of all, most of all is our faith or lack of faith in God. In Matthew chapter 17, it mentions the faith, our faith as big as a grain of mustard seed. I have a two ounce jar of mustard seed that probably has a couple thousand mustard seeds in it. They're just about the size of a pinpoint. And it says that our faith is just like that, that of a grain of mustard seed. The mustard seed is, according to the dictionary, is, a, is a small, one of the smallest seeds that, that's available. And if it's planted, it grows into a giant tree, a bush-like tree. So its reference is that with a little bit of it, with a little bit of this thing we call faith, and a little bit of this thing we call faith in God, mighty things are, are possible. In my home church, where I came from years ago, they always had a banner across the front of the church that said, exercise your faith and watch it grow. And just sort of like the athlete exercises his body and gets get, and it gets stronger, muscle tone grows and the fat content goes down. That's the way it is with our faith. So yeah, it, it's important that we have faith in a lot of things. It's important that we have faith in a lot of people. But it's faith in God that will help us get through the day in our day-to-day -day, day -day lives and the, st the stumbling blocks, the avenues that, that Satan will put in front of us to try to get us stopped. And oh yeah, let's, let's make sure we exercise our faith. Let's make sure we put it to good use, that we don't, that we don't uh, get saved. And getting saved is the most important thing because that, that causes us to miss hell. But there's a lot more to do for the Lord than to, than to just get saved. That, the, the getting saved part rescues us. The exercising our faith and proving it to other people rescues them. So let's, as we go through the week, let's, uh, let's make sure we, we have faith in God and that we exercise it and make it grow. So as we get out this day, let's, let's do that. Let's go by faith, not by sight. Lean on the Lord. And get at it for God. God bless.